Hey guys, just wanted to give you a uh, quick tour of the hardware now that everything is done. Uh, I'm at the very tail end of shooting a 12-hour stress test. This thing's been going for uh, 12 hours with the lid closed in uh, over 100 degree weather up here. And it's still performing like a champ. Uh, still nice and cool inside. Let's give you a tour of the inside of the box. Oh, it's about to do an exposure now. So I've got it set up indexing, doing left-right stereo pairs, shoots an image, goes over, shoots another image, comes back. I'll show you guys how to set that up in Dragon, uh, in case you don't know. Uh, sorry if any of this video is patronizing. Um, so yeah, this is the box and the motor. As you can see, we've just got USB running to the computer, power running to the wall and an ethernet cable running to our motor over here. I've been running this over a 50 foot cable uh, just to make sure we don't run into any problems with long, long runs. It doesn't seem to have any problem with it. I've got these clips here. You can pop open the box and take a look inside. I've got the power supply over here on the left. You know, all your ethernet ports on the front. Uh, there's an exhaust fan down here. There's a fan intake back here, four stepper motors, and down there is the Arduino. Um, I've got everything arranged so that down here on down the left side are your 24 volt lines. Both the, the Ethernet cables and these are 24 volt lines. Uh, and this is all your low voltage 5 volt lines over here on the right. Um, if you do ever need to take one of these steppers out to make adjustments to the dip switches, uh, you'll find it a lot easier to do if you just pull these blocks right up. I'm not going to do it right now because it's running, but um, you can just pull these blocks right out and it'll be much easier to get the stepper driver out. Uh, you might need to do that because there are dip switches, I don't know if you can see them, down there on the right side of each of these stepper drivers. They control the output amperage, so if you get a smaller motor, you're going to need to flip those dip switches uh, to, to configure the uh, driver to output less amperage. Hopefully you can do that without pulling the driver out, but if you do need to, pull these. It'll make your life easier. Um, yeah, that's it. The whole thing closes up. And, uh, yeah, no problems with it so far. It's performing like a champ. I'll probably package this up and send it down to you guys tomorrow.